Hi. So today is window cleaning day. It's Friday, 3 June 2022. And uh, I washed and coated this vehicle last week, but I didn't clean the windows. Okay. So you can see I'm using my little Sony ZV-1 camera, okay, um, and I've got my big Sony's out too. My Sony ZV-1 is right now acting as my handheld microphone because uh, it's a windy day out and uh, I know the pickup on a windy day is not going to be very good. Before I get into cleaning windows, you guys can see me, I am going to uh, show you the existing hydrophobic properties of my vehicle. And uh, I just got a garden hose here, no high pressure washer. So you can see the water is, is beating up and rolling off the hood very well. And uh, it's not doing so bad on the windshield either. But uh, the last time I gave the windshield a rain repelling coating was last year. So that is what we're going to do this year. Or that is what we're going to do today. is we're going to put some water or rain repellent on the uh, on the windows of course along with cleaning the windows So you can see the water is beating up pretty good. The coating we applied last week is, uh, is working well. So these are the uh, window treatment products I'm going to use today. And uh, you can see I'm going with G-Technic products. Um, last year I used the Aquapel, which um, as you can see by the water beating up, it's still working. But uh, this year, we're going to try this G1. We're going to try this G1 Clear Vision Smart Glass Coating. Okay. But uh, before we can apply this, we have to. Uh, Clean the windows with the uh, G-Technics Perfect Glass and we get the polish the windows with the uh, G4 Nanotech Glass Polish. Hi there. As, uh, as you can see, G-Technics gives you uh, a whole set of instructions on how to uh, do the glass and use their G1 protectant on the windows and uh, it basically starts out with clean all the glass you are going to protect with the G6 perfect glass cleaner and then for best results machine polish the glass with the G4 nano glass polish Okay, and uh, that is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to follow G Technics instructions and clean the windows with the G6 and then use the uh, 
G4 Nano Glass Polish. I've got the uh, G6 Perfect Glass, okay, and uh, a good microfiber towel. And uh, we're going to try this. Now I can see a few spots. The uh, nano polish may uh, may take out a couple of the spots here that I see. I'm sure you can't see them in the video cameras. Okay, we're going to do the passenger side now, and of course, I'm going to do all the windows. But uh, really, there's no point in me videoing. Washing all the windows. That would be really boring. So, today's video, we're going to focus on the windshield. And, uh, how the G1 performs here on the windshield. Of course, it's a really windy day. I think it's about 10.30 in the morning. I don't have a watch on, so. I don't know exactly what time it is. Okay, so I used the perfect glass on the wind on the windshield, and now I'm going to go around and do the rest of the windows. So I have the G4 Nanotech glass polish here, and I'm going to apply it to the uh, driver's side of the window and then uh, buff it out. Now the instructions for this do say a machine buff is best. So I've got my uh, buffing machine at the ready. Okay, so uh, let's get my buffing machine and buff this out.
Okay, so I can see the polish is working, the buffing polish. So I'm going to apply the uh, G4 Nanotech glass polish now on the uh, passenger side. It's working. The uh, glass is being polished. So I've got my G Technic panel wipe, which uh, supposedly you're supposed to use to uh, get rid of the over overspray residue. So let's try this. Put some on your cloth. So now the uh, G-Technic instructions say to use another wipe with the perfect glass to clean off this residue.
and that does look like it's doing it. So we're going to use the perfect glass here on the passenger side now to clean off the uh, polishing residue. Yep, that's working. The G6 Perfect Glass is cleaning off uh, the excess residue. I'm going to get a, another clean cloth and, uh, and do another layer of the Perfect Glass cleaner. As usual, I've got my uh, bag of microfiber towels. Looks like we're getting a north wind today. So we're going to do the perfect glass again on the uh, on the driver's side. Okay. I didn't clean the inside of the window yet, so the stuff I'm seeing is on the inside here. According to the uh, G-Technic directions, we are now ready to apply the uh, G-Run Clear Vision, Clear Vision Smart Glass coating. Okay, now the directions call for three coats of this on the windshield. Okay, and you got to wait about 10 minutes between each coat. So I'm going to apply it and then probably clean the inside of the windows and, and do some other windows here and come back in about 10 minutes to, uh, to do another coat. I was just thinking I probably should get my watch. So let me get my watch. Okay, so I did get my watch and uh, I got some uh, sweet tea to sip on while I'm working here. So let's put the uh, G1 on. So we're going to put the uh, G1 on the uh, passenger side now of the windshield. This is the first coat and we're supposed to let this dry and then come back with a second and third coat of this.
Okay, so the first coat of G1 is done on the windshield at about 12 noon. So we'll do the second coat. Uh, let's do probably about 12.15. Give it a good chance to dry. They say you'll get better results that way. Okay, when I apply the uh, G1, I've got these little applicator pads. Um, G Tech gives you some little round ones, but I happen to have these square ones in my supplies. So I'm using these to apply another coating of G1. Okay, now, when they say you're doing these applications, the first time you notice I kind of did a circular pattern, and this time I did a cross, and for the final layer we'll do up and down. Trying to guarantee we don't miss any spots. So we're going to put the uh, second layer of G1 on the uh, passenger side windshield now. Then we're going across left and right. Then for the final and third coating we'll do up and down. The first coating was a circular pattern. So there you go, there's the second layer of G1, it's about 20 after 12, so at about 12.35 we'll apply the uh, third layer. So it's about 12.35, it's uh, time to apply the third and final layer of the of the G Run Clear Vision Smart Glass from G Technic. Okay, if you remember the first time we applied in a circular motion, second time we went left and right, and for this third application, we're going to go up and down with the uh, with the solution. So we're going to apply the solution to our little applicator cloth and we're doing the up and down strokes. Okay, we're doing the third layer of the G1 to the uh, passenger side. Again, up and down strokes because last time we went left and right. So we're going to put the G1 on our little applicator. And then apply.
So this time we're going to wait a little longer for this third coat to dry. So we're not going to use the, uh, the final step using the G2 residue remover to about 1 o'clock. So we're going to give this a good chance to dry and then come back and do the final step. So here's the deal, okay, Aquapel, it's still good stuff and I still have a, a good supply of it. So I'm going to apply the Aquapel on the side windows and the back windows because uh, as you can see, applying the G-Technique G1 is, is quite involved, but the G1 is supposedly like a 20,000 mile or over, pretty much guaranteed to be good for over a year. We'll see, but I know the Aquapel lasts a good long time. So I'm gonna apply the Aquapel to the, to the side windows. Now, while we were waiting for the uh, for the G1 to dry, I clay barred or clay mitt the uh, side windows and the back windows. Okay, I've got a clay mitt and some clay lube. So those windows are all cleaned and prepped, ready for the uh, Aquapel. Now the Aquapel application does recommend wearing gloves. So. I've got my gloves. Now again, I'm using this Sony ZV-1 camera kind of as a microphone so you can hear me because my, uh, my big Sony cams are far away and it's kind of a windy day. So uh, here we go with the Aquapel. If you remember, it's a matter of uh, cracking it open. Glass tube in there and wiping it off. We're going to put some on the mirrors too. I went and got another thing of Aquapel for the rear window. Okay, one thing about the Aquapel is, is it goes on a lot quicker than the uh, G-Technics G1. So, it's been about a half hour since we applied the last layer of G1 in the up and down motion which by the way the directions for the uh, applying that do specifically say layer 1 circular layer 2 left and right layer 3 up and down so we followed our directions exactly okay and for the G2 it says to wear gloves and to apply with this small cloth and then buff out with a microfiber cloth immediately, which I have in my pocket. So let's follow the directions here and see what happens. Of course, it also says to follow up with a G6 perfect glass wash.
Now there was a problem with this C2 delivery. I think it opened up in delivery. And this C2 might be alcohol based. So I'm wondering if the alcohol in it kind of leaked out some or evaporated out. I contacted the company who shipped this to me and asked them to send a replacement. Now here's another thing, okay, about the directions on this. It says basically don't get it wet or exposed to water for at least three hours after you do this. So the directions say to finish this whole process with another wipe down with their G6 Perfect Glass. So let's do that. That'll complete their directions. As they said, their directions then say, wait about three hours before you really do anything. Okay, it does seem like a clean window. So there you go. I followed their directions. Let's let it set. So I just did the windshield with the uh, GTEC G1. I did the uh, side windows and back windows with the Aquapel, but I figure I'll let you see how the uh, vehicle is holding up after last week's wash and C2 V3 application. Let's see, I'll grab my stool. Have a sit, wave at you. Yep, I'm using my Sony ZV-1. It's my uh, light and portable camera. Plus it's got the microphone right up here where hopefully you can hear my voice over the wind. But you can see the vehicle still looks great from last week's car wash and foam wash. In application. All I did today was uh, was the windows. I did the windows inside and out. Of course I did the special coating on the windows. I put the aqua pell on the back window here. I used the aqua pell last year and it worked well. The uh, G-Technics G1 is this year's experiment. Supposedly, it's better than the Aquapel, but we'll see. So you can see here's the passenger side. 
from uh, again it was a week ago that I foamed washed this and you can see how it's holding up after one week it's uh, honestly it's still spotless and uh, mother nature here the trees is resentment re, re, relentless at dropping junk on the vehicles but then again I just did the uh, I just did the windows. Again, the side window got some aqua appeal. Looks like I've got some uh, window cleaner on the inside there that I left some smudges. We can take care of that. So you can see how the vehicle looks after a one week old car wash. Just did the windows today, that's it. No car wash. Still looks pretty good, huh? We'll have to see about the window treatment. Supposedly there'll be a few hours before I can really test it out. There you go, have a look. This is the uh, Z-Bart Z-Gloss ceramic coating covered with Z-Technics C2V3. Window treatment, water on windshield, spray hose, test number two.